What do I think is the point of my YouTube channel in general? What's the point? I'm just a girl, a wonderful girl. Happy Monday. I didn't get you in the vlog last week, so I have to do it today. I know. I cannot believe that I just... I know you were the star of the show. I got Mr. Fluffer Pants and not you. I'll, I'll try better. I'll try better. But Mary... Not, well, you're sitting on a Merry Christmas rug. This rug was given to me a long time ago. Um, and I use it every year. It cannot be washed, unfortunately. Because it is uh, probably from the 1960s. Okay. Let me give her her treat. Oh, and today, today is Monday the 13th. I have a live sale today with Alex from Chapter 2 Vintage Co. So I'm excited about that. We had a lot of fun in the last one that we did. So we're going to try to do this once a month. So today is the day for that. I've been working all weekend getting Christmas. My, that, the halls are decked. But I'm not going to show them to you because I'm doing a special home tour video collaboration with Alex from Chapter 2 Vintage Co., and with Aaron from the collection Vintage. So be on the lookout for that. And if you have a YouTube channel or you want to share on Instagram or whatever, you can be a part of it too. Just look at my community tab and look at my Instagram post. And I have all the details. Let me let her out now. Oh, we did also all of our patio furniture in the barn. So Mabel's like, there's nothing out here. We'll power wash the porch this spring. We got dad's smoking chair out there but uh yeah it's kind of weird not having anything on the back patio we do have mark smoker he does smoke our turkey for thanksgiving we're gonna have to get soon i usually get my turkey i get a butterball turkey from aldi that tends to be the best price and it's always really pretty good so i got i i, I got to do that here very very soon um <laughs> i just noticed kentucky fried chicken bucket i need to get a poinsettia i usually put a poinsettia in that I don't know what they're doing in this year, but Kentucky Fried Chicken used to do holiday buckets, and I got them. For some reason, that's the only one that I kept. I don't know, but I usually put a poinsettia in it. Now it just looks like I have a Kentucky Fried Chicken bucket on the top of my cabinet up there. It's a little tacky, I know. But, all right, so today is a busy day. I'm opening my blinds first. Say I have a sale at one, but I, when I get to the shop, I need to edit a video. So that's the first thing that I need to do is edit the video. So once we get to the shop, I don't think I did have a sale overnight. So I'll pull that sale overnight. I do have to go to the post office today. The post office was closed on Friday when I thought I was going to go because of Veterans Day, but it's open today. So I'm going to have to go to the post office today before the sale. All right. Let's get going. It just goes on and on and on. I know. Well, I, you, you can't go to the shop with me because you, you there's no nothing for you to do there and you tear things up. So you're just going to have to stay home with Mr. Well, that's not my fault. You got that little crazy voice in your head that makes you destruct things. You got to stay. Well, I don't know why. That's just the way you were made, apparently. Your tail's going wiggle wag. She had a really rough week last week. She had to get her nails trimmed. She had to get three shots. She had to have two baths because she rolled in the garden and looked like she had murdered something with the tomatoes. Two baths last week, didn't you, Maybell? It's always something. But we love you. We do love you. Okay. Okay, I'm at the shop now, and what I do every morning when I get to the shop, besides turn on all the lights and that sort of thing, and my Christmas, and that makes me happy, turn on my smelly thing, get that going, turn on all the lights, is I check my messages, check my emails, check to see if anything's sold. I don't keep my, no no I don't have my notifications turn on my phone because it makes me insane. I am a obsessive compulsive checker so i check my emails about every hour i check i don't always reply to them i'm really gotten behind on that but i'm gonna try to get better i check my ebay i check virtual antique marketplace i check tiktok i check instagram i che i'm a checker 
I don't like to be bing, 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 bing. It drives me nuts. I don't even have my eBay notifications turned on. I don't. I know some people really like that. It drives me nuts. It drives my family nuts because I don't have any sounds on my phone. Because it, I just, it, I, it, it's, it's just, it's an ADHD. It's, it's, I don't know what it is. I don't want to blame it on anything necessarily. I just don't like it. So I'm a checker. I'm a check, check, checker. So I check everything when I get in here. And I did have a sale on Virtual Antique Marketplace overnight. I have um, also, I do eBay offers to watchers. So I'll do offers to watchers. And hope and like cross my fingers that 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 it'll sell. I did sell these. I listed them yesterday. These little Norcrest little red bird salt and pepper shakers. Aren't they so cute? But I did list several things yesterday. I listed this little Gilner Pixie. I listed Miss Piggy in her pink Santa suit. I listed these Inesco pig shakers. The Josa or the Gobel. Uh, Mary and Joseph, the DeForest of California, the cheesy con condiment and the pig condiment. I'm going to cross list those on eBay. I haven't cross listed them yet. I've just listed them on Vamp. Um, and then some dragon wear and, and some cosmetics and some cosmetics. So um, get these shipped out and stuff. And then I'm going to start editing my video to get that underway for the Misty show and then I'm going to cross list things over on eBay because why not? I mean, I have it listed on Vamp, but my items are a little bit cheaper on virtualantiquemarketplace.com than they are on eBay because I don't have to pay as high as fees. So if you shop over on Vamp, then you're going to get a little bit you're going to get a little bit better of a deal. I'm just saying. Also, I wanted to remind you too that there is a give five get five. So if you when you click on, let me show you. If it'll let me hang on all right so i'm on vamp and you go up here right there where it says get five if you click on that then you will get your own little referral code right here so you get your own little referral code and then you will, people will get five dollars when they make their purchase and you will get five dollars credit and it and it continuously will add up so you can get like i think i have 25 credits pending I made a purchase yesterday that I got for free because I used credit. So it's a really good referral program. So make sure that you are sharing that code. You just got to copy and paste it. Do a little, if you need a graphic to share virtual antique marketplace, email me and I will send you a graphic. We need you all to spread the word of a one-stop shop for vintage and antiques. It's strictly vintage and antiques. We're not allowing clothing or collectibles or you know that sort of thing it is a curated antique mall so um there are a lot of other marketplaces which is great and go and support them there are other small businesses but for virtual antique marketplace we consider ourselves like a one-stop shop for vintage and antiques solely um so we are including one thing that we um, that is new is vintage inspired upcycling. So assemblages like, like this, this was used with a vintage. This is, uh, Darlene made this. No, Daphne, Daphne made this, but she upcycled it. So this is a, it's a vintage thing that she's upcycled. So the components need to be vintage and antiques. So that's a new thing to be looking at for lots of creative ways that people are upcycling their vintage. So go check out virtualantiquemarketplace.com today. Buy vintage for Christmas. Also, buy vintage for Christmas. All right, I'm going to get these things shipped out and then get started. Hello, everybody, and happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday, November 14th. Golly, it's midway through November. That's crazy. It's crazy. Well, it's Tuesday, and I'm trying to decide, oh boy, I really got overzealous there with my buns. But I'm trying to decide whether or not I am going to have a Starbucks Tuesday because my stomach is a little upset. It is, it's a little upset. We had Taco Bell for dinner last night and my stomach hurts. So I don't know. Oh boy. 
I've really done it now. I don't know what I'm going to do. So, I don't think we're going to go to Starbucks this morning. I'm honestly a little sick of spending the money on Starbucks. So, I think we're just going to do with the coffee that we have. We do have some peppermint mocha from Starbucks at the shop. So, maybe we'll just do that. Or we'll have a Red Bull. Because I've been kind of going to Red Bull in the morning instead of coffee. Just for a little, little bit of caffeine. So, I'm just not feeling Starbucks today. I'm sorry. But maybe we'll have Starbucks Wednesday. I don't know. But I don't think we're going to do Starbucks Tuesday. Um, I do have a, to go to get to the shop to, to do a lot of sh shipping. I have shipping from... I had a sale yesterday with Alex. Thank you so much if you came. I really do appreciate it. It was a fun sale. So I'm going to get started on that shipping. I have a meeting at 11. I have a sale at 1. And then I have onboarding for VAMP tonight at 7. And then I have to ship everything that I sold today and the remaining things that I didn't get done today on Thursday. No, Wednesday. And then I have a VAMP sale on Thursday. So it's a busy week. It is a busy week. And, and, and we are going live tonight. You're watching this on Sunday. So tonight, well, maybe you're watching it on Sunday, but it's, this video is going up on Sunday tonight. Tonight, Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern, is Virtual Antique Marketplace Live. So, Michael and I are going to have a little chit-chat, and then we are going to offer some things that our vendors are selling um, that you can purchase live. So, it was a lot of fun when we did it the last time. So, we're going to try it again, and and hopefully it'll be a lot of fun. It, it, it typically is. It, it typically is. So, all right. Well, I'm going to get to the shop so I can get a shipping. All right. I'm at the shop and I just pulled a little order that I sold on Virtual Antique Marketplace. This little Gilner Pixie Bell who wants a hug. So I'm going to get him shipped to his new home first. And then I'm going to get started on that shipping and that shipping. That's that's what I'm going to do here in a minute. One other thing, too, is, well, here's this the, the package all ready to go to its new home. But I did set out my new uh, tissue papers ready to go, um, my ribbon, my paper, all kind of right here. I did use Sticker Mule, and I had some Christmas cards ordered. Um, so those are all ready to go. And I don't know. I just like to have my little station set up just makes it easier to get things shipped and again you don't have to do tissue paper and all that i just makes me happy um i appreciate that my customers come back time and time again and purchase things so i it, i don't know it, it makes shipping a lot more bearable for me um to to just make it a little bit more fun for myself and and hopefully for my customers too morning and happy wednesday the 15th the 15th the 15th Today is shipping day for me, which is why I have no makeup on. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to ship today. I'm also going to get some more things listed on VAMP. So it's going to be a hunker down and get stuff done here today. But I did have two sales on um, on VAMP overnight and one this morning. Are the Joseph, oh, these are so cute, the little Joseph Originals Tom and Jerry mugs and a coffee can. Oh, right there. I got this Barbie cat. Remember this Barbie cat? That's listed on Vamp, too. Barbie cat. I had that inside. And its little carrier and all of its little accessories. The only thing it's missing is the scratching post. So this Maxwell House can. I love advertisements. So that, these, these have sold on Vamp. So I'm going to add them to my menagerie of things that I need to ship, which is over there right there um i'm also going these are the things that i pulled to list on vamp i'm having a buyer's choice lots of vintage christmas tiny treasures that's going to be tomorrow i'm going to do those mercury glass beads i think too as part of the buyer's choice but so i got to go to the post office it's just going to be like i said it's a hunker down getting stuff done oh, kind of day today oh my little shipping station is a wreck Got to get that fixed back up again, but all right. Tomorrow, I'm having a live sale, but I also, I really need, I may go get my nails done in the morning. I don't know. It's been, it needs to get done. And I really want to go to Marshall's because I haven't been in Marshall's to see any of the Christmas stuff. So I might do that 
Well, I might either, I might do that on Friday, but I usually go to check in at the, uh, at the antique mall on Thursdays too, but I don't know. We're just going to play it by ear as we do with my vlogs every week. It's kind of a mess, kind of a mess, but I try to make things, I try to go somewhere to make it a little bit more exciting because this isn't that exciting for me or probably not for you either, but okay. We're going to get. We're going to get, we're going to get, we're going to, I'm going to be like Danny the Niche Lady. We're going to sh get ship done. I think that's what she says, right? Good morning and happy Thursday. Today I have a live sale on Virtual Antique Marketplace. It says hi too. But I wanted to show you because I pulled a couple things out of my Christmas decor. And they're just things. Okay, they're just things that make me happy. This is a Yeti that Liz Retro's made i love it look at it. its arms are poseable she's got a cute little bow on and then also my little derpy reindeer liz sent me this last year but oh my gosh you, sometimes when you unpack some of your christmas stuff it just makes you liz also made this baby she sent me that baby that little space baby here's his gun it fell out of his little rubber band hand. I gotta get that. I can't do that with one hand. But some of my favorite things up on my shelf. I got my blow mold Santa. I am gonna be doing a holiday home tour. That video will go out December 1st. Oh, there's Clean Elizabeth. Oh, there's tubs. You know when you put out your Christmas stuff, there's tubs everywhere for a, a while. Well, Clean Elizabeth, which is my Roomba, is uh, doing her duty now. So. I'm getting ready to get to the shop. I get to edit a video. Um, hang on. I can only imagine how she's gonna be when it's advent calendar time. Um, but I will be doing a holiday home tour and that is partnered with Alex from Chapter Two Vintage Co. and Aaron from The Collection Vintage. So um, be looking for that. And again, if you want to participate in that, I will put the all the information in the description of the video as well as in my community tab so you can look at that and see how you can participate in the holiday home tour collaboration. All right, I'm gonna get to the shop and get editing. Oh, I did have a couple sales. I, I did have a couple sales on both eBay and Virtual Antique Marketplace, so we'll do that first when we get to the shop. We'll pull those sales. All right, so I'm at the shop and I had two orders, like I said, when I, before I left. I sold this Viking compote on Virtual Antique Marketplace, as well as this little Christmas sawdust uh, reindeer. Those sold on Vamp. And then on eBay, I had some new listings. I, I love these old vintage, like old, like computer and like technology that we don't use much anymore. I like fine things like that. So this one sold on eBay and one of my Rodneys. I tried selling him in a live sale and he didn't sell. So I put him up on eBay and he sold within an hour of me listing him. So I have one more that is listed on there, but they sold on eBay. They sold on Virtual Antique Marketplace. Now I'm going to get them shipped to their new home. I'm back home now, Mr. Fuffer Pants, who is such a good boy. He's a good boy. It was a good sale. Thank you for all of you that came. Um, and I was able to pull over some items that were listed by some of the vendors on Marketplace. So it was good to be able to, to bring their things and people can go in and check out their things. I just put Amy's enchilada in the microwave. Mark is picking up pizza for him and dad. It's like the first night that I don't have to do really anything. I got my video edited earlier. So all I have to do is make a thumbnail and I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna relax tonight with Mr. Fuffer Pants and Maybell and Mark. Just have a relaxing night tonight. So that's what we're gonna do, right Fuffy? He's a good boy. He's such a good boy. All right, but tomorrow we have to ship. And I wanna try to run over to the Antique Mall and to Marshalls. I hope I can get, hopefully, and I added a Walmart too, so. We might we might have time to run some errands tomorrow. We'll see. TGIF. Happy Friday. I'm not gonna I'm gonna not gonna dilly dally he, while I'm here because I really want to take you with me when I go run my errands this afternoon. But 
I had a great live sale yesterday on Virtual Antique Marketplace. Thank you so much for coming. I was able to sell my things. I was able to sell some other things for my vendors. I got to ship all of this stuff out today. And, and these things. This little guy sold on Virtual Antique Marketplace. As well as this elegant, the elegant crystal holiday tree. And then this sold on eBay. I, I almost kept that because that's a UFO. It's Santa and a reindeer and a UFO. So I'm going to ship this first, or I'm going to get it ready to ship first on eBay. Then I'm going to go this afternoon to run some errands, and I'll take you along with me. So I'm going to get this shipping done. I got here before. I got here about 6 in the morning. It's about 6.30 because I did go to Starbucks. I got me a holiday drink. They still had leftover red cups from yesterday, which shocked me. So I got a free red cup. And, um, so I'm going to get this stuff going and early, well, I'm here early to get this stuff going so I can go run my errands because I really want to go to Marshall's today. So, all right, I'm going to get shipping and then I'll check in when I'm done. Okay. The wrong ornament I pulled. This one didn't sell. It's actually this other one. So, and I already wrapped, I already put it in the box. So I had to untake it out. I'm glad I checked. It's this one. I've sold that one before. It's the like little um, North Pole Power and Light. This one is from 1987. So I got to put it back. But this one sold, not the UFO one. Okay. Okay, kids. We went to the post office. I took all those bags. I had a lot. My car was full. And I am now at Riverside. So we're going to go in and see what we can find here. At Riverside Antiques. All right, I'm in Daphne's booth. Look at what she did with these lampshades. She's made them into a Christmas tree. That is the cutest thing ever. And she's crocheted these snowmen. Look at. Oh my gosh. I might have to get a couple of these to do as giveaways. The little crocheted Santas and the snowmen. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Oh, it's so cute. I just love it. Love. There's some vintage stockings. Look at that crocheted guy. Oh my gosh, look, she painted this. Oh, how cute. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. Look at this. It's a little metal sleigh. I love that pink and the red. I'm getting that for myself. Daphne, that's going underneath my tree. I love that. Look at this. Oh my goodness. $24.99. That is adorable. That is so, so cute. And then we've got some more of the gingerbread men that she painted. Look, she made donuts. Oh, and now I did buy some of those already. Look at this. She painted the snowman star. Oh my gosh. I just love this stuff. I'm buying that. That is adorable. All right. We're around in the corner. Booth 16. And oh, look at Big Cupie up there. Hi, Big Cupie. Okay. So let's start over here. Oh, we got some more Mercury glass beads for 16. I think I'm going to get those, the nice colorful ones. And got a little wax Santa star. Oh, look at you. You're $10. I'm a snowman. Yeah, you are. Your little, your little mitten hands. I see he's got a, it says foursome. Made in Japan, 1968. I'm so cute. Oh, here's another thing of mercury beads for 16. I think I'm going to get those as well. And man, I look, I keep looking at this. I love that. It's a different, it's Viking. It's like a Viking drape handkerchief. Look at you, Santa. You're cool. I like you. 
for $13.50. I'm going to get him Christmas postcards. I've gotten these once before, and I took them apart and used them as package toppers. So they're $5. So I will do that again this year. I like that big snowman, too. Oh, wait. This is a different one. So we've got this Viking one here for $24. This one's actually taller for 20. I think I'm gonna get that one. It's just an unusual shape. I think it'd be great for a Christmas display. Look at the bug. It's Mr. Bug Planter for 15. He is an unusual one. I'm gonna get him. I like him a lot. All right, I did just wanna show you. Well, I got Santa for me, but I am going to give away the little gingerbread and look look at me guys look at me so these are going to be giveaways uh, during Tuesday's live sale so come Tuesday one o'clock Eastern um, and these are going to be the giveaways I just can't resist they are just they are just adorable adorable I did also get some these were a dollar a piece they're amazing so I got those but I just wanted to show you. You saw everything else I got, but those little guys are going to be part of my giveaway on Tuesday. All right, well, I went to the nail salon and I got my nails done because it's been a month. It was way past due, but now I'm at Marshall's because I wanted to get in here before Thanksgiving because after Thanksgiving, all the Christmas will be long gone. So we're going to see what we can find in Marshall's today. All right, at the front we've got... Thanksgiving. Oh, look, little Anna Lee dolls. Those are Mark's favorite. They're on sale for $7.50 each. I should get those for him. He would hate them. Mini Tonkas. I love a Mini Tonka. Those are nice. Oh, my cart's floating away. I don't, I come in here not needing a single shoe, but go look at these Scrabble ones. Scrabble Toms. I don't need any shoes, but, you know, I'm just going to look. I do like these old school Reeboks, though. I like those a lot. Oh, no. Don't need any shoes, Misty. You don't need any shoes. But I do like those a lot. All right, I didn't even film back there in the Christmas stuff because I really didn't have a whole lot. But I did get a few... Christmas gifts here for stocking stuffers, some makeup wipes. I am going to get these shoes. Do I need them? No. I do need these though. They're on clearance. So that's about as far as my Marshalls pit stop goes. But it wasn't a whole heck of a lot. Not a lot. All right. So since I didn't really show you a lot of the things that were going on at Marshalls, because honestly, I didn't want to and I kind of forgot. I'll walk through the Christmas stuff at Walmart and see if we see anything interesting, but going into Walmart to get my rest of my errands done. Oh God, Walmart. Okay, we're going to be positive though. Wow, well, looky there. We got all those inflatables up there. Let's go down. Oh no. We've got Squishmallow Mysteries. That's not good. But I probably am going to get one for my kids' stockings. Squishmallows. We'll get one for each. Although I don't know, really know if Colin will really care, but Jaden and Emma do. But look at the little mini Squishmallows. Look, it's gingerbread. Hello, kitty. Oh my goodness, look at this one. Oh, you're Hello Kitty too. Hello Kitty and Friends. We've got Stitch and Mickey and Minnie. These are all pretty cute. What do you do? I wanna hear some kind of crazy oh. Okay, we gotta turn him off. I think I'm just gonna get two. I really don't think Colin really wants a Squishmallow. We'll find him something else for his stocking. But we've got the plates and that kind of stuff. These are cute. Look at how cute they are. I usually use, um, for Christmas Eve, or Christmas Eve dinner, we, um, use real plates. But these are cute for desserts, though. But you only get eight for $2.98. I think that's a lot of money. 
for little plates. So I think I'm going to pass on that. But maybe I'll get napkins. How many napkins? You get 20 napkins? Man, I don't know. I'm too cheap. That's not a lot of napkins. There's a microphone. That there is a microphone. Slay the tunes. Do you, um... No, it's not on. I don't think I need a microphone, but I already have a couple of them. And my, actually, my big mouth is loud enough. Happy Saturday. I don't normally vlog on Saturdays, but I did today because I didn't even end yesterday's video at all. So I thought I'd just go ahead and trail it over into today's. I did have a sale. Little antique marketplace overnight. These little Department 56. These were made by a specific artist for Department 56. And I, for the life of me, cannot remember their name. But they are larger snow babies. And the set of three sold on Virtual Antique Marketplace for $18 plus shipping. So i got to get those ready to go. I also thought I would show you some of the items that I'm going to be selling on Sunday. Some of the items are from my own personal collection. So they are at my house. And be, just be looking for the real I don't know what's going on with my... Just be looking for the reel because the reel will give you everything. But short list of things that I'm bringing to Mother Tucker's Monday. This Dolls of Distinction. Oh my, I almost kept it. I still... The jury is still out whether or not I'm keeping him or not. I have found these little uh, Knickerbocker uh, gingerbread boy plush before and they've been in horrible condition. He is in really, really nice condition. So, I don't know. Jury's still out. I may end up keeping him. I don't know yet. But I have a Lefton. Um, this is a Lefton mug. Funny, I don't know if you're watching Andrea. Andrea and um, Evan. Evan, many, many years ago, came to visit me when the shop was still open. And he brought me my very own pipe-smoking Lefton mug. And I found another one. So, this one is the one that I'm selling. My other one is a prized possession that I will never sell. These are little Pixies. They are left in, and they were this selection by Tad House in Worthington, Indiana. Um, I think there would have been three, but I only have the two, so I'm going to sell those. Um, I might do this one. I actually have another one. I might do I might do them both, another glass tree. I have 90 inches of mercury color, multicolored beads, 60 inches of the cutout mercury beads, and two strands of 75 inch pink mercury glass beads. And then this. Now, I Monday nights, Mother Tucker's Antiques, I, I sell with Garden Guy Bill. I bought this from Garden Guy Bill last year, but I'm, 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 I'm wanting to just stick to Santa. So I, I'm very nervous about selling. It is Commodore. I paid a lot of money <laughs> for this last year. I don't know if, I, if I'm going to sell it for what I paid for it, but it is in pristine condition. The Commodore Merry Christmas Candy Cane. We've got the Carol, the Angel, Snowman looking guy. Oh, her little Mercury glass candle. And this little angel right here sitting on a candy cane. It is in pristine condition. Pristine. In its original box. With the original hay. So that makes me very nervous, but I'm going to offer that. And then, like, there are a few other things that are coming out of my personal collection. That was actually one of them. I brought it here thinking I was going to sell it in another sale. And I thought, no, I'm going to bring it to Mother Tucker's Monday. So I know I have a couple of Viking swung vases that are going to be in the sale. And I can't remember the other thing, but there was another thing that, that I'm selling from my own personal collection. All right. I do have a, just a few pieces of friend mail. I thought I'd go ahead and open up real quick. And then I'm going to get this video edited and it'll be ready to go up. So Tonight is a chat, Virtual Antique Marketplace Live. We're going to be bringing some items from our vendors that you can uh, purchase from. We'll be talking um, a little bit about vintage reselling, collecting community, and sort of like a Vintage Rescue Squad-esque thing, only it's going to be, it'll be on uh, the Cult of Vintage YouTube channel, but also you can watch on virtualantiquemarketplace.com. Also, Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, is Mother Tucker Mondays, where I'm going to be selling the things that I just showed you. 
All right, I'm gonna grab, I had a couple more friend mail boxes show up. So I'm gonna grab the friend mail, get it set up, and then we'll go over there and open it. Okay, whoo, sorry. You know, I come to the shop with wet hair sometimes. Um, I usually will wear a little hat if it's really, really cold, but there is no time to dry my hair. This bow flopping around everywhere is going to drive me a little crazy. All right, so I my first package here is from Amy Alice Kramer. She lives in Los Angeles, California. That's fancy. I don't know why. I just think if you live in Los Angeles, you're fancy. So you're fancy, Amy Alice. So this says friend mail. Hip Hip hooray, for she's a jolly good fella lady. Yeah, I love that. I love it when you draw on your packages. I love that. Makes me want to be really careful. I don't want to tear open to the, oh, hang on, I don't want to tear open to the horse head. There we say, we say, well, we kind of saved his head a little bit. And Misty, open the card. I appreciate that, Amy Alice, because... You know, I usually will open the thing and then find the card in later. And actually, I opened up the thing last week and the card, I didn't even, the, there was a card in there and it fell out and I didn't even see it. Oh my gosh, look at how cute. So very fondue of you. Cheese. Fondue is melted cheese. And look at that Catherine Holmes style pot. That is a cool card. Amy Alice said, dearest Misty, you are fantastically and magically talented. Amy Alice, I like you. I am honestly wowed by how much you do and how hard you work to deliver to us out here in the dark on YouTube. Absolutely love your vlogs and stated to chuckle and started to chuckle when I remember last year's Vlogmas and your choices of advent calendars. You should save the spicy cheese for Mike. I I got another cheese one. I did. It, well, actually, Cindy got Cindy got it for me because it, Aldi didn't have them out yet. But I did, and I will save the spicy cheeses for Mark. I'll be front and center for this year's Vlogmas. Lots of love, Amy Alice. Amy Alice, I have a ridiculous amount of advent calendars. I honestly don't know how I'm going to do all of them. Um, I don't know. Because I, I I might have to do some on TikTok. I, I think I might have to do a few on TikTok. So i got to figure that out. And Amy wrote me a little off-camera message. And I will do that, Amy. I will set that aside and I will do that today. So look at how cute this is. This is a very Los Angeles style package, I have to say. Audrey K. Boutique. Ooh, where's Audrey? Oh, we don't know where Audrey K.'s boutique is. That is so cute. That is a really good idea. I use ribbons. I could just do a little tag like that. I'm saving that ribbon, though. We will reuse the ribbon, Amy Alice. Oh! <gasps> Amy Alice, you know what? I don't know. Oh, Amy Alice, this is perfect because I don't have any earrings on today and I have on a green sweater. I have earrings of my boyfriend, Pedro Pascal. <gasps> Pedro, I'm wearing you in my ears. You know, if... I walked up to Pedro Pascal on the street and I had on these earrings. He probably would run away. He probably would be like, hey, Pedro. I also have Liberace earrings too, but Liberace would be like, I like those earrings. Pedro would be like, probably, but I love them. My boyfriend, Mark has accepted that he is my boyfriend. It is, he knows. So it, it's good. We're all good there. <gasps> Amy, Alice, those are fantastic. Thank you so much. They're quirky and weird, and I love them. Love them. Thank you, Amy, Alice. Okay, this next one is, it's a card from David. David, oh, how sweet. It's a Thanksgiving. Oh, my gosh, look. Just peeking in. Look at that little key cap. So cute. So, dearest Misty, Mark, and family, with warmest thoughts of Thanksgiving wishes and Thanksgiving wishes, I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. I hope you know how much joy and laughs you bring watching your YouTube. You are a blessing. Love, David. Thank you so much, David. That is That means a lot to me. You know, I was talking to my buddy Alex from Chapter 2 Vintage Co. And I've been doing a lot of self-reflection as far as my channel goes. 
And I get a lot of comments from people that say, I only like to watch the shop with me's. And, you know, but when I look at my metrics and when I look at all the analytics behind it, my vlogs and things that are not shopping, shop with me videos tend to do a little bit better. And I enjoy doing them a lot more. So I, I ask myself all the time, what is the point? What do I think is the point of my YouTube, jam, YouTube channel in general? What's the point? I, I don't feel like I am, I know a lot of other resellers are like, they're very, very um, educational as far as, you know, what to buy and sell on eBay, on Poshmark and other, you know, platforms. I just don't feel like I, I'm not, an, I don't consider myself an eBay seller. I do sell on eBay, but that's not where I, that's not how I earn a living. I'm a, a, a live seller. Um, I sell live. And that's, that's what pays my bills. That's what helps me, you know, that's what, that's how I earn my living. And that is such a small niche. I mean, it's grown a lot. Trust me. <laughs> it's grown exponentially. That's probably not the right pronunciation of that word, but it's grown a lot basically is what I'm trying to say. There's a lot of people, a lot of people that are now selling live. Um, but I, I, it's a small niche as far as the people who are watching my videos are not live sellers. So the things that I'm purchasing for to resale are things I'm purchasing for a live sale, which is good, which would, it's totally different than the things that I would purchase for eBay or for a brick and mortar or X, Y, and Z. So I'm like, I do a lot of this, like, what's the point? What's the point kind of thing. I'm having fun. And that to me is the point. Um, and I consider it entertainment. So I'm, I know that I say a lot of weird and wacky things and I act a little weird and wacky sometimes and I consider it entertainment for you. So the fact that David, you says that it, it it's entertaining, that helps me realize that what I'm doing isn't, is, is some people do actually like it because you, you put a lot of pressure on yourself as a content creator on YouTube, on Instagram, wh wherever, on TikTok, wherever and you, you open yourself to, up to a lot of criticism and you open up yourself to a lot of people who won't like you for X, Y, and Z or who ha who pass judgment on you because of what somebody else's skewed judgment is of you and, 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 and X, Y, and Z. So it can be really, really hard to kind of um, just kind of stick to who you are. And I, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I am still going to obviously be doing shop with me's because I do film while I'm shopping, but you might see a little bit of a change as far as, as, as far as things go with, with that aspect, as far as that. So I don't know. I don't want to, I don't really, that's just something that I'm thinking about. So that's all I'm saying is I don't feel like I'm teaching people anything other than maybe just getting a chuckle or making, making making your, your day a little happier or just you're curious to see what I'm buying kind of thing. So I don't know. That's kind of a whole big old long thing, but thank you, David. That was very, very sweet. And it is very, very good feedback to hear. So thank you so much. I think this next box is from Shannon. Shannon Farrar. She's got lots of R's in her name and I like to say them all. She sent me a message. She has sent me some headbands and stuff before from the Shabby Tree Boutique. She told me that she sent me something else of the delicious variety. Food, basically. And I got this and it says, Biquet Caramel. Ugh. Chocolates, maybe? Biquet Confections. I'm probably saying that completely wrong. Uh. Oh, Celtic Sea Salt Caramels. I got game night tonight too, Shanna. So I'm gonna take these because I will sit and eat the entire thing. I'm gonna share with my gaming friends. Those are yummy. I love caramel and I love sea salt. I don't know what 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 what's the Celtic mean. Well, let me read. Has a subtle Celtic sea salt finish that entices the tongue and accentuates the buttery caramel flavor. <gasps> Yum. Ooh, green apple. Ooh. Ooh, I'm glad you didn't send the Chipotle one. That one won awards. The Chipotle one. But perfect choice, Shannon. Thank you so much. I'm going to share. I'm not going to be a big fat pig and eat them all because I honestly, I really, I 
really good. This next one is from Boz Unique Goods in Newark, Delaware. That's what the box says. Open it up. I like that it's unique goods. Like, how many people have Pedro Pascal earrings? Not very many, probably. But I do now, thanks to Amy Alice. All right. What do we get in here? I gotta open up. Here is a card. Misty, that's me. That's my name. Oh, how cool, look at her. Talk about Celtic. She looks like a Celtic lady there. Misty, really enjoy your videos. You bring sunshine and break from daily living. See, that, that makes me feel so happy. Thank you for saying that. Thanks for all you do. Hope you enjoy the DVD. Bo Boz Unique Goods, Elaine. Here is Boz Unique Goods card. Look at those babies. A portion of the proceeds are contributed to the a SPCA. Oh my gosh. New and pre-loved treasures at a great price. So you use this, I'm gonna hold the card up here in a minute again, but it says if you use this QR code, then you'll get 10% off any three items at checkout. Look at that. Okay, so there is the QR code and it is Boz Unique Goods. So if you, if you scan that QR code, it'll take you to where you need to go. But I'll hold it up again, pause it. Scan that QR code. Did you do it? All right. Oh, oh, Liberation Friends at Christmas. This is volume one. I'm gonna have to go get me a DVD player. I think maybe I have one at home, but I'll have to bring it here because this is the only place that I'll be allowed to watch it. Look at how handsome. His face just makes me happy. I love Liberace. Spend the holidays in joyous song and beauty with one of the greatest entertainers of all time. One of the greatest entertainer of all time. Looky there. Oh, and I love that it's all in black and white. Thank you so much, Boz, Elaine. That was so sweet. Ah, I love it. That makes, see, that makes me very happy. This last box is from Casa de Nebrisa, otherwise known as Brigia. Brigia. Bri, who is one of my fabulous moderators. She has helped me out for years. I so appreciate her and how lovely she is and how Johnny on the spot she is. She is an absolute doll and I could not do, I couldn't do it without her. So Bri, the fact that you are sending me a gift is a, but you got one on the way, girl. I'm just saying. It's still, I'm still working on it. Look at all this material too. Brie, that's a Christmas gift in itself. I'll reuse that. Misty, that's me. Merry Christmas. Look at those sweet little woolen mittens. When the season comes, it brings to mind friendships tried and true and mixed in with those are fond memories and many happy thoughts of you. Love, Brie. Not Barry, just Brie. Sorry, Barry. You didn't send this. This was just from Brie. <laughs> All right, I'm going to open this up. All this great padded material. Brie also sells on Whatnot. She also sells on Vamp. So make sure that you check her out. Oh my gosh, let joy be everywhere you are. Christmas 1973. This would be a great cookies for Santa plate, Brie. I do have one that... Um, my kids had when they were very, very little. We've had it every every single year, and we still we still lay it out. But eventually, I'm gonna pass that one along. You know, when I have my first grandchild one day. But this one, this will be a great one for cookies for Santa. Look at those tubies on there. They're helping Santa out. Who needs Rudolph when you got all these cupies? That is so cute. Bree, that was very, very sweet. Thank you so very much. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, God. Thank you, everybody that sent me. You never have to send me anything. You really don't. I really appreciate it. It, it really is very kind. I know what it's like. I like to, to, to send people things too, especially when you're out and about and you're thrifting and you see things that you think that somebody would really like. So Cindy and I are notorious for constantly giving each other gifts all the time. And we're like, we need to quit doing this. But... You know, it, it, sometimes it, you get, that that's just your love language sometimes. And I get it. I do get it. Thank you guys so very much for sharing your love language with me. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for watching the vlog. And 
make sure that you come to Virtual Antique Marketplace live tonight. And I will see you Monday at Mother Tucker's Antiques or Mother Tucker's YouTube channel for Mother Tucker's Mondays. This Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. And then Tuesdays, my sale with Michael at 1 p.m. Eastern on my YouTube. And you'll see the reel for that um, that will be out on Monday. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do. It really does make me happy. I'm so glad that you like these. I, this week was a little, probably a little boring. I didn't do a whole heck of a lot. I had a lot of sales. I had four sales this week. So I was here doing a lot of shipping and trying to get a lot of stuff done. So the vlog was just kind of, just kind of, I didn't get a lot filmed. But thank you for, for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Hello friends, thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget I have a second channel, The Misty Show. I would love for you to come over and follow me. Also, don't forget that I have live sales every Tuesday at one o'clock Eastern, right here on my YouTube channel. And go ahead and check out the Virtual Antique Marketplace. It is an online antique mall. There's lots of different booths and lots of different sellers. So go check that out. The link to everything is down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I will see you in the next one.